Hey guys, are you looking for a family t-shirt DIY idea that you actually want to wear? Well, stick around because today I have some awesome ideas to share with you. Here's a look at the art supplies that I'll be using in today's video. For the first video, we're going to be making a galactic space shirt and I'm going to be using these uh, fabric spray paints from Tulip. To start off, you're going to want to place some sort of cardboard in between your shirts and then lay your shirt out on some sort of plastic mat. I then will take a plastic plate and lay that on the shirt to get somewhat of an outline of the planet that I'm going to be using. Once I have an outline of that shirt, I'm going to go ahead in with my colors of the planet that I would like to use. So you can do this in any way, but the idea is you want to do it in three sections. So you want to do dark at the bottom, if not black, and then you want to do a graduated color scale up to the top. And at the top, you'll leave that little bit white. So what you're trying to do is create the shadow of the planet and then create where the light source is hitting the planet. You want to paint your strokes in a semicircle like pattern to on an angle to kind of give the illusion of roundness to the planet that you're creating. And then I'm going to go in with these little spray bottles that you saw in that supply list. These are actually a pump action and they're in neon. And what I'm going to do with these is try to create texture to the planet that I wouldn't be able to get um, with the, the spray paint itself. If you're doing this technique on canvas, you can easily, you know, put something over top of that planet to get texture, like a bag or something like that, but it doesn't work that way when you do it on a shirt because it absorbs quickly. So I'm going to use these paints instead to kind of create more texture. And you can spray from above. What I found actually is spraying sideways actually got me that texture that I was looking for. And then I take the white spray paint and what I'm doing here is trying to add in little speckles to represent stars, um, to give a little bit more texture to my planet um, and as well. And then once you have that planet looking the way you would like, you lay the plate back over and this is where the magic is happening. You take a uh, black spray paint, go the entire way around the plate and now you're going to have your your planet outlined in a very crisp way and now it's going to become 3d so add a little bit of your light source as well so at the top i add a little bit of the colors and at the bottom i'm going to add a little bit of that white reflection strip right at the back end of that planet and this is what's going to make this whole thing pop but watch what happens now when we go to lift up this plate this is the ta-da moment Ta-da! <laughs> it's 3D. It's beautiful. I love this. I go in and I add our names to the shirts, of course, because I like to do that for our family theme. And you can do this in any color. I ended up making these uh, purple and green planets for my children and then for um, myself and also then dad, hu my husband, he got a pink and purple shirt like me, but uh, that's okay. He will deal with it. It turned out really beautiful and I love to hear what you think and I really would love to see you guys try this as well. This technique is really fun. This next technique is really something that is easy for young children to participate in. This is done with puff paints and I printed off our names on just printer paper. That way I can just go ahead and cut them out. Now the font that I use for that is something called Gaglin and I got that off of Canva. So there's this nice big oversized font that really works well for this type of DIY project. Whatever you use, you wanna make sure that it's a nice thick font so that when you pull them off, they stay intact but also you get that effect. Now when you lay your shirt out you want to make sure that you start in the center with your glue stick and you start with the center letter to line up to the peak of your shirt. It's a good way to get your name in the middle of the shirt. And then I just go on either side and I glue that in place. I'm using a glue stick because that's going to ensure that that can be pulled up easily when I go and I start the project. You don't want something that's too permanent because then you can't lift it up after you have your puff paint on and then you get a little bit of a mess. 
Now this is the fun part. After you pick out your colors, you really just put this puff paint on in a random pattern all over the font that you've selected. The important part is, is that you want all of the edges of the font to be covered in some sort of puff paint. You can use as many colors as you want. You can layer as many colors as you want. This is really up to your artistic judgment. But one of the things that I can recommend to you is that I think that a lot of the bright colors really contrast quite nicely when mixed together, especially these neon puff paints. Another thing that I would tell you is that I try to blend the colors from left to right so that there's an even balance across the the t-shirt. The other thing I would tell you is that with puff paint is even though it seems very thick at first as it dries it flattens out quite a bit and the last tip I would give you when creating your puff paint shirts is that to prevent it from sticking to itself um, after this is dried it just takes a couple days to dry because you put it on so thick but to prevent it from sticking back onto itself I usually lay, hang mine up or if I have to put it in a suitcase to go for vacation I lay it flat in the suitcase um, so that my design doesn't get bent now here I'm taking a little spoon and I'm just going to reinforce the edges just to make sure that my design is definitely covered on all sides. I really want to make sure that the edges are clean and crisp when I remove my letters. I'm just going to go ahead and layer in on top of that after I have everything. Once you're satisfied with the design, it's now time to go ahead and remove the letters. You want to do this before your project dries and also to make sure that that glue is still wet so you can easily remove them. I use a pair of tweezers to help and assist with getting that line started and usually it's easier if you start from the top and work your way to the bottom. Now there may be some residual of paper that's left inside of the letters but once you wash the shirt that actually just wow. comes right off so you don't have to worry about trying to get those last couple pieces off. But this is a really cool effect don't you think? This is something that you can make at home with your family, your grandchildren, anything and they are going to love it and have a blast. So. It's uh, something that I definitely think you guys need to try. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite shirt from today. I'd love to uh, hear from you and uh, thank you so much for watching. I have another video coming up just like this one for you. So thanks a lot. Stick around, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.